We're here to talk about regulators. With me is Kurt Rocha, and you're going to tell me about the Edge 2.0. Now, I have, uh, I may have some old regulators in my shop. I'll be the first one to admit it. So, why should somebody uh, upgrade to an Edge 2.0? Uh, safety is the number one reason, and that is with SLAM technology that we have built into the regulator, um, high flow rates, and then also the, uh, the resistance to regulator ignition or, or regulator burnout as the normal term. What is SLAM technology? SLAM technology is an acronym for shock limiting absorption mechanism. It's basically the knob that's on the regulator. So if a cylinder falls over, takes the impact, there's crumple zones inside the knob, and from there you're safe. If it falls over, am I done? Is the regulator, is it over or be repaired or what do I do? Yes, you could easily repair the regulator. Sometimes the knob isn't damaged um, too severely, so you can go right back to work. Other times you just replace the knob, but very easy to replace. What does flow rate have to do with uh, safety? Well, in, in heating and cutting applications, um, what typically happens is a regulator, as the cylinder contents decrease, the flow rate will decrease as well. Um, in a heating application, it's unsafe when you don't have enough flow getting to the heating tip. Uh, so uh, Edge Series allows you to keep the high flow rates through the end of the uh, cylinder usage. Now, does that also help me out in just standard, like uh, MIG welding or TIG welding will give me more use out of my cylinder? Um, it may do that, but what it does is it allows you to keep your flow rates stable. So especially in a welding application where you want your flow rates to stay stable, otherwise you'll lose the shielding gas coverage, Edge will do that where most regulators don't. So what's regulator burnout? Because it sounds really exciting and cool. Regulator burnout is if you have uh, contaminants inside of a regulator and specifically with oxygen, um, you have heat inside the regulator. Well, if it ignites, um, you know, Edge is designed to either extinguish it to where the regulator doesn't blow out. Um, so you don't have parts being thrown out. Um, Edge will contain that or it will not allow it to ignite in the first place. So most regulators, the, the old standard legacy type regulators don't have that built in. So you could have what we call regulator burnout and um, very dangerous. What other features are in those regulators that would make someone want to upgrade to new regulators on their, on their cylinders? That's a good question. So we've extended the uh, inlet stem. Uh, one of the complaints we hear often with welders, and that especially that uh, have gloves on, is the ability to disengage the regulator from the cylinder. So we've lengthened the inlet stem. Uh, one of the other things we've done is we've made more intuitive gauges. So when you look at the uh, gauges on a standard regulator, um, they're just very plain. Um, you really can't tell where your settings are from a distance. With the edge, we've changed the graphics and we've color coded them. So when you look at the regulator, you'll know exactly the pressure range that uh, that needle is going to be in. Also come up with a uh, gauge protection device, the high alloy housing that's on the regulator. So if a regulator is dropped, um, you won't lose the gauges. In other words, you won't be replacing them. Um, so they'll withstand the impact and then you can go right back to work um, instead of having to go through the high cost of replacing the gauges. So they're almost like in a little roll cage. They are. They are. Like so the they're gauges. designed to take abuse. So all in all, if you got old gauges, you should replace them, right? You should with and an Edge 2.0. Sold. I'll take two to go.